In this video, I'll be showing you how I made this Avengers logo that's backlit with color changing LEDs. A quick search on Google got me the vector version of the Avengers logo. With that, I was able to import it directly into easel and carve it. Now that I have the mounting board cut, I'm going to put the logo cut out on top of it and trace the outline. This will allow me to mark the holes for the wires and mounts. With the mounting board holes drilled, I can now clamp the logo to the mounting board so I can mark the holes in the bottom of the logo. For the outer holes, I used a drill press with a depth setting set. The inner holes are done with a cordless drill with tape wrapped around the bit at the depth I want. Next, using the bandsaw, I cut a dowel rod into smaller pieces and test fit everything together. I now need a rough idea where I want the lights to run and cut out additional material around the mount holes to run the wires. Next, I will prime both pieces, paint them, and finally polyurethane the logo itself. I used one coat of primer, two coats of white paint, and three coats of black paint. Additionally, I ended up applying four coats of polyurethane instead of three, since I could not work fast enough to keep the brush strokes from showing up. For the lights on the back, I took a strip of RGB LEDs and cut them into segments as needed. I modified some extension cables to connect each segment and ran those wires down the holes to the back of the mounting board. After mounting the logo and running the wires through, I stripped all the wires and joined them together by wire color. Using some additional wire, I grouped the wire segments together before finally joining everything together with the plug. One note, these type of LED strip connectors, while very convenient, can be temperamental in completing the circuit. Test your work using solid red, blue, and green light settings to see which connection is that making good contact. If you get frustrated tracking down wiring issues, just put the project down and come back to it later on or the next day.
I've not decided where I want to put this yet, so for the time being I will just lean it against the wall. In the future though, I may mount a stand to the back or modify it to hang on the wall. Well, that's it for this project. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. See you next time.